So what happened on day 33? Actually, not a whole lot. We can kind of consider it a lost day. The day started with a discussion. It looked like there was going to be a good weather window that we might be able to enter the Smokies. So we spent a good bit of time discussing the possibility of doing that. Cloud Chaser was having problems with her pack, so she actually needed a new pack before she went into the Smokies. So we went down to the REI in the Asheville area where we were staying, and she tried on several packs, but none of them were really working out. Next, it was back to the hotel to pack up so that we could relocate closer to the Smokies. So we left the Asheville area and moved to a hotel in Cherokee. However, Cloud Chaser still didn't have her pack. So she and Tick Magnet went to Gatlinburg to the NOC where she was able to get the pack she wanted. In the meantime, the rest of us went ahead and packed up our gear and filled our food bags, getting ready to enter the Smokies for the next three days, and went and got some fast food for dinner. After that, Bunny and Cloud Chaser took the vehicles to Fontana Dam to leave Tick Magnet's car there for us to use once we had exited the Smokies. So it ended up being pretty much a full day of doing nothing but moving vehicles around and chasing down packs. But we were ready for a start the next morning going into the Smokies. Bunny's daughter dropped us off at Klingman's Dome and we set out on our trip the next day. And that's pretty much the story of what happened on day 33. This is also a pretty good time to answer a few questions that some people have asked in my videos. I think I have addressed them in the comments, but for those who maybe didn't ask or didn't read the comments and would like to know, I have been slack packing a good bit since ears and paws left. For those who aren't hikers, what slack packing is, is when you don't carry everything that you need for an overnight. Instead, you carry just what you need that day, with the plan being to go somewhere else to stay that night instead of camping in the woods. Um, due to the bad weather that we've been having with cold or rain, that's been a really good plan for me. Um, I never did plan to spend a lot of time if the weather was inclement um, camping out in the woods. So I've been doing quite a bit of slack packing early in the hike here. I'll probably be doing more camping out as the weather improves. But my goal is to hike the Appalachian Trail, not necessarily to sleep out all the time on the Appalachian Trail. So hopefully that kind of explains that. If anybody has any other questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Just put them in the comments and I'll try to respond.